Hey everybody. Again, happy Saturday. It is Saturday. I made it out to the mall. And I did things a little bit different today. Like, the second store I hit was Primark. I just, I completely stayed away from Bath and Body. There was nothing that I possibly could need there. Um, went into Yankee Candle, had a few things. And I did my thing at Primark. Now, Primark has, as far as Disney bags are concerned, there was nothing. Nothing. The bag that I got last week, which was the Save the Earth, Save Our Earth, they I seen one. One duffel bag. And I think they wanted like $20 for that. But I don't need that duffel bag, so... I did, however, purchase, which I was after, a Primark set of sheets. Now, a few weeks ago, I was looking and looking. My husband purchased two sets of sheets from Target. And I said to him, I always wanted a set of sheets from Primark, so I, I got those today. They actually had my size, because we have a queen size bed. So I got those. And they were, I mean, for a... For, Queen size bed for, for a set of sheets. You're getting the top sheet, you're getting the fitted sheet, and two pillowcases, $14. You can't go wrong. So I'm going to be trying these out the next time that I. <laughs> yeah, two pillowcases, one flat sheet, and one fitted sheet. Yes. Okay, and I got them in like a nice beigey color, $14, queen size. So microfiber set. They look very well. They, they do. I'm feeling the material. They're not a silky material like the other ones are. These are actually more of, they feel like a cottony material. And I know microfiber is different, so. Wonderful. So I managed to get a set of sheets from Primark. I'm excited, because anything like new that's from Primark that I would like to try. I also purchased, because I really, 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 really want to get rid of my bath rug that's in the bathroom. I feel that a bath mat, just a mat on the floor, something that after you, you know, you step on it, I could pick it up and hang it up to dry, you know, just one of those. And I got one of those. And I got it in the, you know, my beigey color, which is a toweling, toweling bath mat. And I got it in this color because it matches my leopard print. Now, the original leopard print bathroom that I have and all the leopard print stuff and the brown stuff that you see was actually from my mother-in-law's bathroom. So I, you know, continued the um, continued the tradition and, and doing leopard print in our bathroom. And that's fine. You know, maybe one day I'll get a, uh, a new set of shower curtains. Maybe to change it out just a little bit, that would be cool. But to go with the leopard print and the, the browns and the beige, I got this. And this was $6 at Primark. So just something that I could step on when I get out of the shower, just, you know, and just hang it up. So, and I think that this is better than to leave a rug down all the time. Um, one of the things about that rug is that it has a rubber backing. And like in the old, uh, my mother-in-law's old home, um, they, you know, the rubber backing sometimes comes off and it actually stuck to the floor. So it was, you know, they weren't tiled floor or anything. I mean, they were tiled, but they were like grouted tile, very small tiles, but you could see the rubber sticking to the floor and it was very hard to wash off. So I think this is a little bit better for us. So I'm going to go back to this. I had one in my bathroom in the old house. So, cause we had our own bathroom, but, um, yeah, it's just easier to work with. Now, Primark has pajama sets on sale. And these were, these are the short sleeve straight leg pants set. And I think this is very lovely. I got an extra large because like I said, Primark clothing runs small. And I do have large stuff in uh, Primark size. It's kind of a little snug after a wash or two. So I basically, I want a new pajama set and I'm gonna try these and this is in this color. It's a wonderful uh, peachy coral color. So this is the short sleeve shirt, and these are the pants that go with it. I love the, I love the color of the pants. So that's a nice springtime, springtime light cotton pajama set. 
And these were on sale for, I want to say, eight bucks. Could even be nine. Yes, nine dollars. So you can't go wrong with a pair of pajamas for nine dollars. Ah, and last but not least, me with my freaking bed socks. I got uh, a set of stitch this time. <laughs> Okay, and these are $4.50. You know, their socks used to be $3, but you know what? Everything is going up now, the COVID. Everything is going up in price, even Primark. Oh, I also heard within the next few months, Dollar Tree won't be a dollar anymore. They're going to go up to like anywhere from 3 to $5 on their items. Yeah. No more Dollar Tree. What are you going to call it? The four and five, the three, the three to five Dollar Tree? I have no idea how they're going to work that one out. I mean, you already have five below, which is anything five dollars and below, which is that store. What are you going to, what are you going to rename the Dollar Tree? Who knows? But um, be on the lookout because we hear that that's going to happen because they're getting more, more high end looking items. So they're going to have to go up in price. And probably the COVID situation. So, you know, everybody, everybody's going with that. So that's the damage that I did in Primark. I managed to get grown up things today, <laughs> except for the stitch socks. Okay. It was an impulse, but me, I love my bed socks. I love my bed socks. They're so cozy for bed and the pajamas. I want to start getting rid of whatever I have in the drawer. Just, you know, every, for every, for everything that I buy, an old thing has to go. That's one way to clear out your things, you know, downsizing. You don't have to just buy everything new and then just get rid of everything old. You know, you buy one or two things at a time. You know, you say, do I really need this? Okay, you know what? These are my favorite pair of pajamas. They're not doing so well right now. I need a new pair of these pajamas to replace. That's it. So. And that was it on that for the Primark situation. And I spent $35.28. The bed sheets, like I said, they were $4, uh, up $14. The bath mat was six. The socks were $4.50 and the pair of pajamas were $9. So very nice. And I got everything that I, that I really needed for the home, for the home. All right, I went into box lunch. I had my eye on the Winnie the Pooh. It's a sweatshirt, springtime sweatshirt. It's really cute, really, really cute. You know what? Even they said it at the store, I was talking to the worker and she she mentioned it first and i said no i got to agree with you you know springtime's coming it's you know season's changing do you really are you really going to wear a sweatshirt because it is it's a heavy shirt they have it in coco uh, i forget what other character that, that that they have it in so but the winnie the pooh is like the one i really had my eye on now word of warning they're not sure yet but the box lunch stores are supposed to there is a rumor that that new Winnie the Pooh lounge fly, the cute little Winnie the Pooh with the flowers going across Winnie the Pooh's head lounge fly, may be coming to box lunch stores. Get ready. So you heard it from me. Just a rumor so far. The store, there was a store in California, box lunch, box lunch in California, a store that actually received that backpack. So they're hoping, you know, I mean, it would be nice. You know what? Let's stop shooting these bags out in spurts in different, in different, to different vendors. Can't you just have them all in the same, st all, all in the, every store? Can't you just do that? Why must we run around to this website, to that website? I'm looking at websites that I've never even heard of before. I'm a little leery of that, but... I know friends who deal with these websites, so it's, you know, I would be going on their reputation. If they say it's good, you know, then they would refer me to it, and that's fine. But, um, yeah, I'm a little eerie, you know? I just, 
if I've never heard of a website. Now, LA Style Rush, that my first one was the holographic backpack. I would I would I would purchase from you guys again. Thank you so much. You really, you know, LA Style Rush, you really came through for me and my bag was received. Wonderful. You've seen the review. Okay. All right, but that was it for the Primark and the box launch. I didn't buy anything in box launch. I'm on a roll. I didn't buy nothing in, well, the only store I went to adult stuff was the Primark today. I went to Hot Topic. Now, Hot Topic, I'm looking for the card holder to my Ariel lounge fly bag. They have it online, the card holder. It's like $12.50. I don't want to keep ordering online. So I went to my Hot Topic and I showed her the picture of my backpack. She says, yeah, she says, we did have it. We don't have it anymore. Okay, fine. So that's, that's it on that one. And I walked out of Box Lunch and I walked out of Hot Topic. So Hot Topic, Box Lunch, I didn't buy anything. Walked into the Disney store. They have the Jersey masks the black mask with the mickey mouse on the side i felt the material it's a cotton material cotton mask but the mickey mouse is a rubbery substance and you know what with a few washes i don't put my mask in a dryer you know how i am i hand wash my masks um but i would not put that in the dryer either because the rubbery substance after a few washes will most likely start to wear in and then eventually fade over time depending on how much you wear it and how much you wash it so and they wanted fourteen dollars for that mask fourteen dollars it must have been a mismark i don't know it went back up on the shelf it went back up they have the stitch pins the new stitch pins for the monthly stitch monthly they have the one with the spaghetti and, and these pins are big. I mean, I've seen them from people, but to see it, to hold it in person, it's a some size pin. They want $34 for that pin. Not happening either. Walked around the store, seen what I seen, seen what they had, seen what they didn't have. And I walked out of the store. Goodbye. Take care. And now that's three stores that I didn't buy nothing with. And one store that I never even went in, which is Bath and Body Works. I did good today. I did good. I guess it's good therapy for me, too. You know, I have to experience that anytime you go into a store, you really don't have to buy everything in the store. You really don't have to buy anything. But I was looking for that card holder, but it is what it is. Fine, fine, what, whatever, whatever. I did good. I'm proud of myself. And I got things that I really, that I really do need. So. Now, I stopped off at Yankee Candle. Did I need any candles? No. No, I didn't. But I didn't buy any candles. But they have a nice little sale going. And I got my usual wax melts. These are a dollar each right now at Yankee Candle. So I bought, I bought 10, I bought two, four, six, eight, ten. 10, you know, in pairs of two for my two warmers. Um, okay. This one I got catching rays, which smells good. It's, these are like for spring and beach scenes. See the lady on the beach. Okay. She's catching rays. That's what apparently she's doing. Okay. <laughs> now tell me. I bought two of not the same. Now, you think the guy would tell me that I didn't buy two of the same. Okay. There's one. There's got to be one missing. Am I right on this? No. Okay. Now, that was Catching Rays. This is Seaside Woods. Either my nose is dead today or just, just it's just too much of wearing the mask because I was trying to smell things and it just wasn't happening. No, there's nothing wrong with me. Okay, this is Seaside, Seaside Woods. That's what it looks like, Seaside Woods. Come on, focus.
focus, 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 focus. I know there's a glare. Seaside Woods. There we go. Okay, that's it for that one. Ugh. Okay, so we got Catch and Raise and Seaside Woods. Then I got Dried Lavender. Mm -mm. I bet you I didn't get it. Really, people? Okay, I got it. Two of Dried Lavender and Oak. Now, you know me, I love my lavender. I have been using my lavender, the essential oil lavender, the big bottle that I purchased on Amazon. I've been putting a little bit each night on my wrists and on my front and on my back. I kind of feel like Wonder Woman now. <laughs> I do this and then I do this. So on both sides and I just go to sleep and I'm watching TV and I do, I don't know if it's me or if it's just, it's really working. Um, I feel drowsy. I feel nice and calm and I actually drift off to sleep. So I think it's working. So this right here is dried lavender and oak. Smells good. They have a little hole here to, to smell. That's what that looks like. And um, doing good otherwise. All right, what the hell else we got here? Then I got... Really? I don't remember getting this, but okay. Warm Lux Cashmere. Which to me, if I smell it any longer, it kind of smells like the dried lavender. And this is what this one looks like. No, I can't describe a smell to you, and I'm terribly sorry about that. It just smells outdoorsy. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> and what the hell else? There better be another one in here. Okay. Then I went for the more springtime, which I had to actually exchange one because it cracked open. And I said to the guy, you know, he peeled it. I said, I'm not taking that. It's open. The smell will escape. Honey Clementine. This smells cute. It smells... It smells like a clementine. It smells fruity. It has a fruity smell. I don't know if you people like fruity smells, but that's honey clementine. Okay, so that's 10. Then I wanted to, and I, I think I remember um, telling you this. Excuse me for my phone. It is kind of, okay. That I wanted to try their essential oils. I wish Bath the Body Works would sell essential oils. So Yankee Candle, I for eight I think it was eight eight ninety something, close to nine bucks. I'm trying one of their. It's called Seaside Woods. I wanted something on the style of. Oh wait, and I also got mail. I wanted something on the style of the cedar wood. Now I'm a fan of cedar wood. My cedar wood from the company Nature's Truth. I know it's going to sound weird smells exactly like in Epcot the attraction Rome burning in the Epcot attraction you know which one I'm talking about oh this is a nice size bottle okay well the box looks like that this is seaside wood and the bottle is nice the bottle is pretty cool all right seaside woods there we go now, let's see if you know what attraction I'm talking about. You gotta know. You're kidding me, right? If I spill this oil all over me, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I can't open it. I can't open it. Wait a minute. Can I open it? Mm -hmm. Do you have to push down and crack? Yes, you do. I think. The guy did his in the store. This is terrible. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit on my wrist. Okay, it smells nothing like bur Rome burning. <laughs> it has a... It's a woodsy smell. I think this would be nice in my diffuser necklace. One of my diffuser necklaces. To me, it kind of has like a nutmeg smell to it. I don't know. Seaside Woods. 
And he says to me, would you like to try one of our diffusers to purchase? I said, no, not now. I'm not into the diffuser for these. I'm into wearing the jewelry diffusers. So I explained to him, I says, no, I says, I use it in my diffuser necklaces. He says, they have necklaces for that? I said, yes. He says, you wear that smell? I said, certain smells, yeah. I said, it's it's good for aromatherapy, I says. He says, it must be cheaper than perfume. Oh, I says, well, well, let's not go there, but... Uh, <laughs> I said, yeah. I says it smells smells pretty good. Okay, um, it doesn't have a strong overpowering scent, so I don't know how this would smell in the diffuser. Okay, seaside woods. All right, that would smell good in the jewelry diffuser. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. And of course, they gave me a coupon for next time. What are we doing here? Two for $35, all large jar and large tumbler candles, plus 50% off personalized fees. I guess so, if you want to have it personalized. I don't believe in having a candle personalized, unless you do it for like a, um, a wedding or something. Maybe you would like to give, and I wish I knew this like when I was getting married, um, as wedding favors to the mother and father of the bride or the bridesmaid or the maid of honor or, you know. That would be nice, have like personalized candles or something, like a picture of you and your maid of honor like from years ago or something, you know, something like that. That would be cute. All right. I also got mail, Amazon mail, which is also one of my other essential oils in cedar wood. So let's see the difference between this cedar wood and that one. Because my cedar wood is old now. Okay. Where is my package? Where's my package? I don't know where the package is. Would you believe this? It's one of them days, folks. Let me tell you. Where is the package? Yahoo! Where are you? Oh, wow. People, people. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, here we go. No, that's not it either. Oh, wait a minute. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the Pirates of the Caribbean during the attraction, not the attraction, but the stage show when Jack Sparrow goes, save me, save me. <laughs> it just, I'm sorry, folks. It just reminded me of that. I don't know if you've ever seen the stage show where Jack Sparrow comes out. That was really a good show. Let me tell you something. We, we recorded that show. They had the best Captain Jack Sparrow for that part. And then all of a sudden, as the years went on, it kind of like got dippy. And um, none of the characters like sounded the same or really acted the same. But there was, uh, let me tell you something, there was girls. And my husband goes, look at this, he's a rock star. There were girls waiting. I mean, talking about grown women waiting for the next show of, <laughs> of the Captain Jack Sparrow at Disney World. This thing was phenomenal. It just, you know, it was like a bunch of groupies. I, I was getting embarrassed myself, but you know what? I was one of them waiting. So <laughs> my husband says, you're kidding me, right? No, no, no. We got to wait for the next show. I says, I didn't get the whole thing on tape. I want to do it again. <laughs> okay. This is a package that I got from Amazon. And this is the eternal essential oils that I usually buy off of Amazon. Eternal Let's get this name right here. Eternal Essence Oils. Okay? Eternal Essence Oils. They are located in San Clemente, California. And this package, I'll be honest, this package came pretty fast. It's very well wrapped. Nice padded envelope. It was in my mailbox, so that's even better. I just wish that I could get the damn thing open. What time is it? Ugh, good Lord. So, it is very cold out very cold what time is it here 24 minutes we're running into 24 minutes all right all right let's see let's see bubble wrapped very nicely padded envelope very nicely so i just want to see how this smells i am looking for rome burning and the only rome burning like i said that was the best was nature's truth Oh, please tell me this is going to open. I can't be bothered with this right now. Oh, God. Ah, oh, here we go. 
Okay. Now for two dollars and something, this is actually the small bottle. They didn't have this in a large bottle. I was a little PO'd at that. Hmm. Hmm. I'm a little disappointed. Okay. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. I want to say what it smells like, but I really don't want to offend anybody. It is not happening. Oh God, it just went up my nose. Okay, this cedar wood is not happening. All right, we can, we can forget that. It, that's a smell that... Um... <laughs> I'm not being funny. That's why I keep smelling it, just to see if my, my brain will process this... Uh... Wow. All right. Not happening. Thank God it's a small bottle. <sighs> wow. Okay. See, that's why sometimes you go to the store, you have to smell them or you have to trust who you already used. I was, I'm very disappointed in that one. Cedar wood does not smell like cedar wood. How can I say this nicely? If you have cats... You'll know that smell. That's not happening. Um, okay. Anyway, people, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. That, I can't get that out of my brain now. Ugh. Okay. Love to all. Have a great day. Have a great rest of the Saturday. Have a great rest of your weekend. Be safe. Wear your mask. Hope you enjoyed my video. See you soon. Bye-bye.